going on guys and girls it's DC here and today I have another educational video for you all which is uh, entry level technical cybersecurity job questions um, complete with answers um, so you've managed to secure yourself an interview um, as for example a junior cybersecurity engineer and um, now you're wondering you know what are they going to ask me? Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I want to be prepared. I want to. I want to get my stuff up to date, and I want to. I want to ace this interview. I want to. I want to nail it. These are the uh, most common questions that I've seen being asked for junior positions, and um, yeah, they they do heavily focus on uh, networking because it is a junior position, and. Um, yeah, most of the questions are around networking. So I'll just quickly open up my thing here. Um, all right, so what are the three main transmission modes? The answers are simple, half duplex, and full duplex. Uh, next question, what are some of... Uh, what are some communication networks? Um, so we've got local area network, metropolitan area network, wide area network, and personal area network. Uh, next question. What is data center multi-tier model design? Um, I've written this one down because, you know, I have a terrible memory and I wanted to make sure I, I said it correctly. So... Multi-tier model design is a widely used model in data centers in modern organizations. The topology of the design is very flexible but often quite expensive. It's a multi-layer architecture based on three principal layers, which are core, aggregation, and access. So if you were to say to someone, if they asked you, you could just say, oh, you know, core, uh, aggregation, and access tiers. That'll get you through on that question. The number one question that always comes up every single time, every single time for network engineers, for security engineers, for pretty much every IT job out right now, what is TCP? It always comes up. I don't know why. Um, the explanation, Transmission Control Protocol is what it stands for. It's one of the most well-known internet protocols. It's used for host-to-host -host communication as a connection-orientated protocol. The last bit is, is key, uh, connection-orientated protocol. Make sure you say that. They'll, they'll jizz themselves. I love it. What are a few TCP header flags? SYN or S-Y-N, ACK, A-C-K, REST or R-S-T, FIN, F-I-N, ERG or URGE, different people say that one differently, uh, which is U-R-G and PUSH, <laughs> which is P-S-H. Uh, extra points to you if you can explain what they do, Google them. What is SSDP? SSDP is Simple Service Discovery Protocol. Uh, it's a network protocol used for discovering the directly connected devices. It uses UDP on port 1900, I believe. 1900, make sure I get that right. Yes, 1900. What are a few UDP header fields? Source port, destination port, UDP length, and UDP checksum. What are two intrus intrusion detection methods? Uh, so we're getting into more security-based stuff here now, which is nice. Uh, so sign signature-based detection, anomaly-based detection, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can, um, well, that's two. So uh, if you can explain what they are, you'll get some bonus points. Uh, don't just say, they'll probably ask you actually, okay, what, what does that mean? 
Again, Google them. Uh, another question that always comes up with the TCP question, and this is, what is SNMP? SNMP is Simple Network Management Protocol. Uh, it is a protocol that manages network devices. Every network device contains an SNMP agent that connects with an independent SNMP manager. That's the textbook um, answer, but you know, summarize that, make it into your own words. What are two types of sniffing attacks? Passive sniffing is one. Active sniffing is another. Um, again, if you can explain what they are, and you probably will have to, you'll get some bonus points, little brownies. What is MAC spoofing? MAC, M-A-C, all right? As in MAC address. You sniff MAC packets on a network, then use it in another context, quite common with Wi-Fi hacking. Um, if you've ever looked at the, my intro uh, video clip, I'm using Wi-Fi um, to basically hack a network. Before I do that, I um, anonymize my Mac, and that's what or Mac spoofing. Um, and it's it's actually in that video, so have a look. What is ARP poisoning? Uh, ARP is ARP, by the way. So ARP is used to resolve MAC addresses. Attackers can forge the ARP request to flood a switch. It's called poisoning when they flood the cache, also known as um, ARP flooding. Um, and often uh, on Cisco switches, especially the like Catalyst 6000 series, um, a lot of people don't write in um, to have the ARP cache flushed um, on a time sequence. So you can... You can literally just like smash the ARP cache on a switch and it, it'll just kill, it'll bomb the whole network, especially if it's like a perimeter switch. Um, I don't contone, you know, DDoSing or oh, hacking someone's network though, so little disclaimer there. Next question. What are the three main data transmission methods in layer two? They are unicast, multicast and broadcast. Um, explain what they are as well. What is a MAC address, M-A-C address? A MAC address is unique identifiers with two assigned parts. The OUI is assigned by IEEE -E or IEEE and the second 24 bits are assigned by the manufacturer. Uh, so often if you are, you've just bought a whole network refresh for your uh, your organization's environment and you get like 20 switches, right? The first bit is always exactly the same. And you're like, oh, this is weird. Maybe it's just because they were made in that order. It is. The manufacturer also has its own, uh, you know, the first four uh, characters are the same. Next question. What is DHCP? This question comes up with TCP, the TCP question and the um, SNMP question all the time. It's super common. What is DHCP? It is a network layer protocol that enables assigning IP addresses dynamically to hosts. Another question that always comes up, what is a VLAN? Um, I know these questions are super networky based, but this is for a junior cybersecurity engineer or a, a junior pretty much anything cybersecurity uh, job interview. Uh, a VLAN is a logical grouping of network devices in the same broadcast domain, also known as a virtual LAN. Uh, what are two types of VLANs? There are tagged VLANs and native VLANs. Um, some switches have them listed as... Um, oh, my mind's just gone blank. Forget it. I'll scratch that bit out. What is port 22 commonly used for on a Linux server? So a little bit more security based. Port 22 is the default port for secure shell or SSH. Uh, you can use SSH to remotely log into Linux servers. Um, common practice is to remove Telnet and only have SSH access. Uh, if it's not, that's a massive security flaw. What tools are commonly used to secure a standard network? Common tools are firewalls, intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems, um, or IPS. 
Uh, endpoint antivirus, like semantic endpoint protection or, you know, trends version or web root or whatever, you know, whatever. And password manager slash security. What do you do outside of normal business hours to keep up to date with your security knowledge? Um, you could say you watch Hacker News on DC CyberSec's YouTube channel uh, if you want. Um, or you could... you. Basically, just say that you read the news on cybersecurity. So I always make sure to get my daily dose of information security news from whatever source. I follow a few different Twitter pages that are related to, um, you know, network security, cybersecurity, uh, hack-related stuff. Uh, on the weekends, I sometimes test open source um, security tools in my home-built lab or sandbox or whatever, something along those lines. And you, you probably should be doing that anyway. The last question that always comes up in every interview ever of all time, not just IT or security related, it is, are you capable of working in a team? And the answer should be yes. If you say no, then you're very special. Um, yes, you are capable of working in a team and you should also explain a, a situation where you and your team over overcome a um, an obstacle. They they want to hear that. So I hope this helps you with your interview. And um, if you have been to an interview or two or three, and um, I've missed some of the questions that you were asked, or um, I'm sure I have. There's you know every interview is different, and you always get asked all sorts of different questions. But definitely comment them down the bottom, and. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be helpful for other people who are coming across this video to see what those questions are. Um, as always, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you love listening to my voice, subscribe. Uh, if you hate listening to my voice, subscribe anyway. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. <laughs>